Hello guys, today I'm making a futuristic skirt from two full circles. First I measured my waist, then divided it into four and cut out a circle at one of the corners of the fabric. Then I measured the skirt lengths down the lines, make marks marking the edge of the skirt. Make sure that you're measuring from the waistline so you get a natural curve which later you will cut out. I decided to make it simple and make my skirt 40 cm long. Now I wish I would make it longer, but this video is just for educational reasons, so it doesn't really matter. Cut out second circle using first as a pattern. My next scene is a bit screwed up. I filmed myself how I attach horse head trim to the edge of the skirt from far away, but my close-up camera wasn't filming at the time. I only noticed it after I finished the skirt. I questioned myself if I should edit this video, that's all. And I know it's a big chunk missing, but I promise that I will make a separate video with close-up for another garment on how to attach horse hair trim. Meanwhile, I already have one video on my channel where I explain the process of it. I will leave the link below. Horse hair trim is important, so the folds on the skirt looks more stable. I used 8 cm wide trim and I used it twice to have a stronger effect. Next step is the belt. You will need to measure your waist and decide how wide it's going to be. In my case it's 5 cm. Make sure you leave seam allowances, especially on the side where a zip is going to be inserted, about 2 cm. Fusing is important, so I used white fusing fabric because I could not find black. After I cut the belt, I fold it and iron it. Then I start attaching the belt to the skirt. You probably notice that this skirt already has some reflective beads ironed on in mosaic style to make it look more futuristic. Don't worry, this is going to be our next step where I will show you how to create them. While I'm sewing, I gather the waistline because I cut it out deliberately wider in order to create fuller effect. I don't show precise process of attaching the belt and inserting zips. There are plenty of, of well-made videos on YouTube explains you how to do it. My job is to show you new creative ways and whoever is watching my videos should already have intermediate skills in sewing. Finally, the fun part of the video, creating reflective mosaic. I used reflective iron-on sheets from Happy Fabrics website. The color of the sheets that I used called Spectrum and I used two of them 50 by 30 centimeters at the price of £4.45. I made the template first of the shapes that I want to have, then I draw them on the sheet and later cut out a part in order to stick them onto skirt. Next step, I place all the bits and pieces in chaotic manner on the skirt in order to iron them after. The heat from the iron helps for them to stick onto fabric. On the website they claim that fabric can be washed after it. I haven't checked it myself so I can't say anything about it. Also on the website you will see instruction for ironing at what temperature you should do it. This material have protective plastic sheet on the top which should be removed 
only after you've ironed them on to fabric. This is to protect underneath layer which is much more shiny and thinner so it doesn't get burnt. After I made sure that all pieces stuck on, I removed the plastic invisible layer from each part. Next step is belt embellishment. I sew on mirror plastic parts by hand all the way around waist using black thread. It consumes a lot of time but the end result really worth it. It looks amazing. These mirror parts are sold everywhere like Etsy or eBay or AliExpress. You can buy them anywhere. I used around 200 pieces. I also created little bonus t-shirt for Valentine's to go with the skirt by cutting a piece of sheet into heart. It gave different dimension to a whole outfit. So I hope you enjoyed the video. All the best. Sending you love. Bye bye.